what'd you say? <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, people, we can watch DKS. I'll have pee in the middle of the chart if you want it. I don't see any good longs today. Even though the market's higher, I don't think the market's necessarily higher right out of the gate. And I don't really see any any amazing longs. Uh, DK, S&P, both rate 18, so I would do half size. And the other one was the TSN, but it's really got to break 61. And the other one was Teva, but it's I don't think it's an immediate short. Yesterday it worked very, very well. Cayman Dude did it. Never thought that would have worked like it did yesterday, but TSN worked yesterday. So again, I don't know if these things set up, but I will watch them. And the P has the volume, so I'll put it in the middle here. I would take half size today if you do anything because of the ratings. I would still only do 50 shares of this. I'm Just good Okay, there. very good, yeah. So you have DKS up and you're ready to go and you know how to put in a stop. Are you sure? Yeah, well, I'll figure it out. I, mean, I know. Okay. Okay, DKS is the main one. P is in the middle. This is a quick one anyways, Pyro, because of the fact that it's an 18. It's an 18. Look at what TSN yesterday. Great. I mean, literally, the exit on that, I call it at the low of the day. It totally flipped. So quick, quick shorts today in anything you do because of the market. That's why Journey Woman's like, can we go long? You know, we can't go long. There's no good bullish gaps. They're zippity doo So at least there's things to look at to the short side. Sue thinks DKS is going to swoosh. <laughs> I love how Sue tries to predict swooshes. <laughs> Funny. I don't see anything setting up to call an option in the long side. I wish there was something, but I don't see anything. Are you ready over there? Good luck, everyone. I don't know if this sets up. I'm just letting you know. This might not set up. So <clears throat> I'm going to watch two things. In fact, I'm going to watch TSN, too. This is a last-minute decision. I'll watch three because, I mean, I literally... Do not even know. So I have TSN. You got to pay attention here. P and DKS. And the reason is because nothing's fabulous. In an ideal world, DKS holds 5150 and it's not that far away from there. So let's find out. It's kind of spready. Your goal today is to practice taking a train and putting in a stop and getting out. That's, that's the only goal you have. You have no, no goals other than that today, okay? So that when we get something good this week, you can, you can do it. <clears throat> okay, TSN is not moving yet. P. You definitely don't have P. Um. I'm not saying to flip to it, I'm just wondering. Okay, DKS, let's see if it does anything right. TSN is an open, P is in the middle, DKS, nothing's moved, nothing's done anything. Okay, DKS. It's very spready. Okay, you have DKS up? No, man, I had P, okay. I just wanna make sure that wasn't. Yeah, this is spready. I don't think this is the open here on the DKS. Just wait. Do you have P or not? No. Here, 89 by 1215P if you've got it. I do half size because of the rating. Eric can't do it. You definitely can't do it? No, I rejected it. 89 by 15P is valid half size. 
Now I'm going to watch the DKS, but I don't think that this open here in this bar, I think this is the opening bar. I'm taking the P off, but there you go if you want it. And TSN is not moving, which is really weird. All right, I'm going to focus on DKS there. This is the open. See, look at that. This is the open. This bar was not the open. Wow, I was right. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, I'm not calling this here with the dollar stop, so just wait. DKS, this bar here at 931 was really the open. See the difference of the volume? Okay. So no one should be in this yet, and I didn't call a trade in DKS at all. And P broke and will be very normal. Stop 12, 15. If you wanted to do the P, you could do it if you had it. DKS, we're watching. TSN. TSN looks like it's halted or it's not open at all. What's up with TSN? Quickly, somebody tell me. TSN isn't moving. Tiva. I call P. You can't do it, so. Just, you have to stay on one thing. Stay on the DKS. If you did the P, you're in it, stops 12.15. TSN is either halted or not open yet. It's probably not open yet. It's 9.33. It's not open yet. That is really weird. Okay, Tiva's trying to break too. Okay, if DKS doesn't set up soon, I'm going to flip to the Tiva. Or if this goes over the high, I'm going to flip to the Tiva. No one should be in DKS yet. This never set up. Quick check and see if you have Tiva. Quick, quick, quick. Don't put an order out. At the, you have to put it out far, far, far away because the market's open now. In fact, don't even forget it. Don't even, you, you got it. Don't even do anything. He gave you DKS. Don't even do a test. Just go over to Tiva. I think this is going to flip. Okay, if you're in P, you're in it. Eric didn't have it. I said to do half size if you did it. Tiva, I wouldn't do an aggressive trade in it, but I will watch it. TSN, looks like it is just open now. DKS has not set up right, and no one should be in it yet. Let's watch the Tiva. No, I lost on that. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. Sorry. Okay, we're going to watch Tiva here and see if we can get an entry in this. Unfortunately, nothing else is set up besides P, and some people didn't have it. And I didn't call any trades in this yet, so no one should be in it, because again, this could flip over the high. It's a continuation gap. So the only thing, if you're in anything, is P, stops 12.15. It doesn't have a big target. DKS did not set up and open late. P, if you're in it, stops 12.15. TSN didn't open on time, and I wouldn't do it. It doesn't look right here. So let's watch the Tiva. Let's see if it rallies up and holds the high. Are you okay over there? If this I'm, just going to, I'm just going to the charts. Okay. Tiva, you should have up. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the one minute. Thing. You can do whatever you want. Do 50 shares or 100 shares. Oh, oh crap. Tiva, Tiva just... Here, just wait though. Okay, stop on this is going to be 33.20, but it's not having a right, correct entry yet. So just, just rest, everyone. Just relax. Try to get a good entry in this. Okay, the only thing I have up now is Tiva. The stop's going to be 33.20. It's 50 cents from here, but I'm trying to see if we can get a confirmed entry. It's kind of trading it a little weird, but again, it's, it's a new gap, but it wouldn't have rated great. It's really a continuation gap. I just wanted to push back and give the confirmation of the hold. I don't know if it will, though. Let's see. Okay, P is holding. DKS just looks really weird. Let's stick with the Tiva. Gosh, nothing is setting up right today. 
but you have these days. Here, DKS is breaking, but I didn't call it. Had a late open here. This really isn't even a right entry. I don't, I don't like this. I don't want you to do it. It's selling off, but I don't, I don't like the way it's set up. Is anyone in anything? Nothing looked great this morning, but I wanted to watch some of these things. DKS opened really strange and late, and it broke, it sold off, but it didn't have a really confirmed entry. I'm trying to give Tiva a little chance here, and if it holds in here, it'll give a proper entry. Discipline dude didn't do anything. Shower singers and P half size. Okay, if you did DKS, you did it on your own. You pretty much just had to shorten and put the stop over the first bar, which I didn't call. Didn't call, didn't tell Eric to do it, didn't do it, didn't tell anyone to do it. It's, this really didn't have any kind of normal entry. It's just selling off. Okay, P is working for those of you that are in it. Good job for those within the P, it's just slow moving. Okay, let's see if Tiva sets up. P is working, but you couldn't get it. I don't know why. For those of you that are in the P, it looks great. I'm gonna to try to call Tiva for Eric, and did anyone do DKS? It really didn't set up at all right. It was, looks crappy. Okay, P. This isn't gonna be a small stop, unfortunately. 85. 85 by 20 P, 85 by 20 P, 85 by 20 Tiva short. It did not trigger yet. And it may not, and if it doesn't, I'll give another entry. This is Tiva. If you're in the P, you're in it. DKS, you almost would have had to just short and put the stop over the high, which I don't do. <clears throat> and it didn't rake it enough to do that anyways. Here, 85 by 20 Tiva, not a small stop. 85 by 20 Tiva, are you ready over there? Yes. Here, do it, do it, get in. 85, are you in? Yes. Are you in the stop? Are you in it? practicing because you got to do it faster than that okay. here look over here do you see this it's selling off get the stop in isn't it it's covered. I had to cover at 3320 what yeah. is the stop in or not this is going to be a scalp because of the market and and it's just a continuation anywhere it breaks through the low here just just you know get out of a little bit of it this is working though Tiva P P is a baby. I didn't pay attention to this because I was calling Tiva. You, you almost had to I take a little bit off here. Now. Huh? Should I close it? You got out of it? Yeah. Um, well, you, I, I <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made money, but it had to be like five. You made two hours of it. Trade, but he made two uh, two dollars of a few cents. <laughs> Congratulations! It's a first trade. It's a first live trade. It was positive. It's a sign. I don't know why you got out of it though, but. <laughs> I'll manage this for everybody else, and then I'll talk to Eric when we're done. Here, Tiva is still working. Here it goes. Look, see, look at this. No, you can't take it now. It's too because. <sighs> Oh my gosh. You short it and just hit cover when you want to get out. That's all. Can I still short it? No. Don't touch anything else today. This in here worked. Did anyone do it? This actually dropped a dollar. It's, it didn't set up right, though. We'll go over DKS. P, 
Had to move in here, a little tiny move in here. Let me figure out the targets for everybody for P. And Tiva looks good, and DKS fell, but it didn't have a good setup. I'll go over that. Uh, normal target for P in here is 1175. 1175, 1160. Okay, Tiva. So where are you going with this if you're doing it today? Again, every little number in here could bounce is a continuation gap. Under the low, next number in here is 3250. TSM, what happened to that? Woo, that flipped. DKS had a huge move. It just set up crappy. So let's look at it. Let's look at this. Don't do not do anything today. I'm serious, okay? okay? We'll go over it, but you did a good job getting in the train. You just didn't put the stop in. You covered. All right, let's go over this. This opened late, had a big bar, didn't hit under the low. This is gobbledygook in here, not even a rally, and it broke. So it's unfortunate, but I wasn't going to call a kamikaze trade on something that rated 18 points. You really could have shorted this here almost right after this and just put the stop over the high. This did have a big move, though. It moved down $1.30. I thought this would work today, even though it only rated 18, but unfortunately, it didn't have a good entry on the one-minute chart. Part of the problem with that is this crappy look in here, and although the fact is that it worked, and it did hold 51.50. P looks fine, but it's a snail. It's trying to break the low. It did just looks like by a penny. You're not looking for a big target in this. I, I would get out of this one more flush through the low. You're making 10, 15, 20 cents in this. Here, P, P. You can pull P up and watch it now. So you could have, you would have, yeah. you could have made money in the P. Yeah, I emailed him about that. Okay. All right, who's in the P? P is working. You don't have a big target in P though. Market is red. Let's look at target. Let's look at cost. Hmm, cost. Okay, Tiva. Tiva, you're still in it. Tiva, you're still in it. I'm going to pull up cost a second. I want to look at the option chain in this and see if there's something I can call for cost for the option chain. Just hang on, everybody. Um, talk amongst yourselves here. I'll keep the mic open. I just want to look at the cost. I don't have the chart up right now. I just want to see if there's something I can call in that or something I can see for an option. This is why we did this today. It's a good experience for you. You didn't get out with a loss. You made money. You just got out too soon, but that's okay. But that's why you're practicing and you got to know how to put in a stop. Okay? Okay, let me just see here. Cost. Here, Tiva looks great. Cost All right, I'm gonna wait a little bit in cost, but there might be something there. There might be something there today. I'm gonna go back and look at that later. All right, who's in what? If you're in the Tiva, it's a continuation gap. The target is 32.50 today. The possibility of it breaking 32 exists because the market is a little bit red. The problem is the market only ever shows a small amount of red lately. And so I wouldn't bank on having the market to help you really with anything here today. The day the market could have fallen was a couple days ago and it really barely went anywhere. And But this was a good trade for Eric to practice today and anybody that wanted to do it in here, it's working. Under the low is under 3270. Ah. No, I just, it's not good to go back into something after you do something like what you did because it's just, you're practicing today. Remember I said you have one goal today to practice? So you didn't put the stop in right. So you got to learn how to put the stop in right, which I thought that you went over with him. Yeah. Did you, or did yeah. you just make a fat finger today and press cover? We went over it. I just, I, I just can't pull it. I really can't pull it. Whatever. I don't want you getting crazy taking trades today now when we're practicing. You did a good job. You took the train to the price I called it, and you, it and you got up? out. Did huh? it move back up that quick? Because if I hit cover, it shouldn't have got me out unless... Well, Cover yeah. gets you out whether you're up or you're down. Oh, okay. It just so happens it went right into being positive. But you could have you could have covered in a trade that would have gone under work and lost money. You didn't. Gotcha. DKS. What a look at that. Did anyone do it? Here, let's go over it. The gap did not rate good, but I thought it would work. 
Then I watched it and I said, wait a minute, this isn't the open. This was the open. Unfortunately, it didn't have a correct rally or an aggressive entry, but it fell, fell, fell hard. <laughs> Would you stop? For those of you that are in the P, oh, P, look at P. Here, here's the first exit for P. This was a nice trade. All right, let's go over this one here. So you could have done P, 89, 95, whatever, tight stop on P, 1215. You could have even lowered it to 1210. This is the morning exit. Could go to 1160, 1150, but not without bouncing. I think everybody should be out of the P here because the market's an unknown and it's early and there wasn't anything great. And I called two nice trades and even DKS worked. Even though I didn't call it, I said that it would work. You could have done it on your own, but it didn't have the correct entry. And I don't want to call kamikazes in this type of environment. So if you had done the P, it would have told you to take it all right there. Now I want you to figure out what you would have, this is the target for the P, Journey Woman, 11.75 for the morning. Where, what would you have made in P if you had shorted it, 95 by 15 with 20 cents, and if you gotten out at 75, you would have made 20 cents. I wanna know how many shares you would have been able to take and how much you would have made. How many shares would you be able to take with a 20 cent stop? I'll take out 100. No, you could have taken more than 100 shares with a 20 cent stop if you're risking $100. If you're risking $100, 20 cents risk. Uh -oh. Shower singers out of P. This was a nice little baby call. This was a huge move though in DKS. Look, if it backs up at all, I can call it, it, it just, I don't know if it does just kind of fell after the open and didn't have a right entry here. If we had really liked this gap, if it had a better rating, I would have aggressively probably called it in here. But, you know, I think conservative is best and that's how I've been playing it and we've been doing good, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. So here's P backing up in the morning rally and the market is just such an unknown because it really looks so strong. So that's why I think the early exits on the gaps today is the thing to do. Why? Strong market, no good, rated gaps. Tiva still looks weak. Who's still in the Tiva? This very well could get to 32.50 today. TSM backed up completely, opened very, very late. Google's rallying. That's over a dollar? No. 25. How well, first things first. I'm asking you too many questions. How many contract, I mean, how many shares could you have taken of P today if you had done the trade with a 20 cent stop? Rumi's still in Tiva. And it looks good. So the low under here is what? 32.71? Once you break that, there's really nothing in its way down to 3260, 3250. If you did the P, it would be out. That that had a good move for something that was, you know, just a regular news gap. Tiva's just weak. The DKS had the biggest move and unfortunately it didn't rate enough or set up correctly. It just opened and sold off. And TSN didn't like open like three, four minutes late, which is really weird, and then didn't do anything right. Here, Tiva. Now, I would have told you to get out of this Tiva, like around here. You got out of it way before, but that's okay. I didn't know that was, I thought it was going to stop, and then I was getting all the way out. Um, all right, who wants to go over anything else? Right here now, I'm looking at stuff. I could have done 2,500 shares. That would be a risk of $500. No, you don't want to risk $500. You're risking $100. Okay, who did what? Let's look at these other ones in here that were longs. Meat did have one quick move, only 10, 15 cents. Looks really scary too. Uh, dish didn't do anything right in here, piece of crap. Big, let's see if that's set up yet. Oh gosh, this ended up gapping down and now is rallying. P 
Kia would be out of for the morning move. Tassi, Tiva. Here's Tiva through the low. Everybody's in it. Eric got out quickly instead of putting a stoppy cover, but that's okay. So, yes, you're right. You could have taken 500 shares. So, if you had taken it with 500 shares and the, and the stock moved 20 cents, you would have made how much money? 500 shares times 20 cents is what? This is if you had done the P. Yes, yeah, so you would have made 100 bucks. How did I pick DKS? What do you mean? I, I rated DKS, I rated P. I did not rate Tiva, but it's working because it's a continuation gap, and here's the Tiva, everybody that's in it. Oh. Pull it up, watch it. Or here, I have it up here, you can just watch it up here. I, I mean, I, so what did you do wrong today? Did you fat finger it and mean to put a stop, or you just pounced and covered it? I stop okay. and cover at a higher price. But I, did, I, but I realized cover just gets you out. Cover just gets you out. Okay. There's no covering at a higher price. You are putting the stop where I say the stop has to be, which is the higher number. Do you understand that? Yeah, it, this tool, because if I, you have to do the stop first. No, you do the entry first. Do the entry first. Then what do you do? Put the stop in. But it won't let, this, this thing won't, it won't, it's, well. Okay. You have to manually do it. Okay. You have to manually put the stop in. Then you would cancel it, and then you would cover if you want to get out. Okay. Oh, okay. I almost want to do another practice one today, but I don't want you to chase something here. Let's see if piece that. Oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. Gosh darn it. No, nope, you can't short it. No. Nope. Mm -mm. And DKS is way gone. <laughs> Gal heads out of the Tiva. Great. Suzanne, I always get up in the morning and look in the room and look in the scanner. Boom. Oh, let's look at the snap. You know what's really weird? I forget the day that that opened, whatever. I totally forgot about that. And I thought, and you know what? In my mind, I thought, this thing's going to collapse. And the funny thing is, then I saw it in the news yesterday. It did not collapse when it opened. It collapsed yesterday. And I thought in myself, I was weird because I thought, this thing's probably going to collapse I don't know why I thought that. I thought that the, this was before, last week before it even opened. I thought this thing is, in, is gonna be a bust and it totally was a bust. But probably no one can, can short it. So it's really, it's really interesting here. And there's rules for selling at, if you're in the IPO. So I, I don't know how these things ever sell off like this. I don't understand all the rules. I never uh, was in an IPO, but um, I had a feeling that this would absolutely do something very similar to Twitter and it's exactly what it it did again another overinflated IPO DKS uh. now let this rally back if this actually rallies back correctly it'll set up but it's probably the 15 minute wow. nope can't short it who can nobody can short this snap Pyro made 210 bucks. It's better than nothing. Chinchilla made $85. Good for you. Shazana, whether DKS was positive or negative, you're looking at what the earnings report was. See, I don't, I don't look at any of that stuff. I don't, here, Susanna's saying, wait a minute, this had a positive whatever. That has nothing to do with the gap. And also, do you see here, this originally at 7.30 was at 53.25. It was up here in the morning before it collapsed. This all happened early. Here is where it was, then it opened here. I don't look and see what, read what the earnings say. I'm not going to call Kamikaze, but this is still just falling. But actually, I think Pyro said it has a 10 o'clock call. What a pain in the butt. Look, it just didn't set up right. I might have called this if this had opened on time, but then this, whenever something opens weird like that, it's, sometimes I don't even want to trade them. All right, let's see if, if Tiva sets up again. If it does, do you want to do it? Yeah, well. I don't know if it does, and it would have to be absolutely perfect for me to call it for you to do this late, but I do think you need another practice trade here. 
Whether the earnings were positive or negative, Susanna, I don't read or look at. I look in to see what's gapping, and this gap down. I mean, at D DKS did. Let's look at Target. Is anybody still in the Target put? Looks amazing. Look at it. 55.50. Is anyone still in this? Anyone at all? Here, let's look up and see what this is worth. I have no idea why you didn't do that. <laughs> the Target. I mean, we talked about these yesterday. Oh, I have yeah. no clue yeah, on the planet bad. why you didn't do it. Uh, let me just see here. Is anyone still on the target, the option? I just want to see what they're worth here today. Well, it's basically the same as yesterday. It's it, No, it's basically the same because of the time value. Oh, who's still in it? Okay. It looks like it can get to 55. Yeah, DKS is going. Look at that. Is that $50? Yeah. Huh? All right, Tiva, do you want to do another trade? Over there, you. Yeah. Do you want to do another trade? There's no trying. <laughs> you're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. You don't have to do another one, but you clearly need to practice putting the stop in. I'm going to tell you where to take it if we do it. So have it up. And I'll call it again for anybody else that wants it, but this is going to be a scalp. Stop's going to be thirty-two ninety-five. Sixty-nine by ninety-five. Tiva short. If you want a quick scalp, sixty-nine by ninety-five. Sixty-nine by ninety-five. Sixty-nine by ninety-five. It's twenty-five cents over there. Just but just do a hundred shares and just see if you can get it. It's practice for you. Sixty-nine by ninety-five. Tiva short. If you want a quick scalp, down to see if it breaks through the low. This is a real entry. And a practice one for Eric. It did not trigger yet. It's at 73. Target is 32.50. It didn't hit yet. We'll look at what's out for tonight and tomorrow morning. I know there's a, good, there's a lot of good things the rest of this week. I just didn't want to do something crazy today when nothing rated over 20. 69 by 95 Tiva. Are you ready over there? 32.95. No, 69 is your entry. 32.69. I don't say the dollar. The stop's going to be 32.95, and you will have to put. It didn't hit yet. Are you in? I was in. Um, All right, well, it didn't hit. Now you better put the stop in. It didn't hit the number. I think it's you're gonna be fine, but get the stop in quick. You're gonna be okay, but you gotta get the stop in. Where I know you don't have it in, I don't see it anywhere. No, let me see it. Thirty-two ninety-five. Where where is that? I hit sell. Thirty-two ninety-five. Then it sell. I don't see it. You also took it too early. It didn't hit yet, but that's okay. If you lose in this, then you'll learn a lesson. You don't take the trade till it triggers. It's okay because you're practicing, but I don't see where the 32.95 is. Go over. You can't scroll over. Over, over, over. Over. Where's the 32.95 to verify your price? Yeah. No. Where can you verify the stop thing correctly? Close price, 3280. Oh, 
Okay, this is still valid here, 69 by 95. Eric is trying to figure out if he has a stop at the right place. He did it and it didn't hit. Huh? I think you have it at the wrong number. Yeah. So cancel it and put it at the right number. I think this is going to go, though. It's just slow going. P looks great. P looks great if you want to do another trade in P. P, you could shorten and put a stop at 12.05 to see if it gets down to the next area, 11.60, 11.50. This is slow, 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 slow. And again, I said do half size in these this morning. So if you wanted to do another trade in these, you could. If you want to stop for the day, that's fine. The big mover was DKS, fell off a planet. Didn't set up right, it's too bad. Almost called a kamikaze in here, but just didn't want to do that, too late. Could have backed up more, but it didn't. It's just selling off. And the market is extremely bullish. Very bullish. Let me just look at everything. Who wants to go over what? Who's still in target? Eric took an early entry in the Tiva. Did you get the stop in right at 95? Huh? Over there? Facebook's going to the moon. Do you have the stop in or not? Cancel the order there. And let's, here, just go down and cancel it. Because no, you're going to buy it back. Cancel, where's your position? Oh no, you don't have the stop in. Okay. That's, you don't have the stop in. See, go over there. Go over here. You have time. Go through the process. Drop it down. Boom. Stop. Market or limit. What did he tell you to do? Put it. Okay. Go pick the root. Arca. Or okay. Edge of uh, fine. Edge edge of the U. Here. You have it right. Where are you going? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Stop. There. No. Stop market. There, drop it down, quick. Edge up, boom, dead. Now where do you put the price? Stop price here. 30, no, just type it. You won't have time to do all this. Thirty-two ninety-five. Yes, then you would put it as a buy. Yes. No, it didn't, it didn't put the stop in. It did not put the stop in. If it goes over 95, though, I want you to get out of it. But you can call him right now and say, tell him, I just put the stop market in with the price, and it did not, yeah. and I pressed buy, and it didn't work. Just watch it, and I'll tell you, you're going to need to kill it manually if it goes up to 95. All right, let's look and see what we have out for tonight, people. If you didn't do this, it looks good. New entry in this, if you want a secondary trade, is 70, 71, 69. Stop is still 95, it looks okay. I'm working with Eric here to figure out to put the stops. I've never used TurboTech, so he doesn't have a stop and he's just have to watch it. Let's look and see what's out for tonight. Gosh, there was crap today, and I called two good trades. Absolute crap. Shoo, crap Ola. Let's see if there's anything good tonight. If I tell you to cover that, though, you're going to have to cover it. I think you're going to be okay, but you absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, have to learn how to put stops in. It's very important. Ooh, we do have a good one tonight. Urban, HRB. Let's look at these. It's just a matter of doing it. Yeah. 
don't just it's just doing it that's why you're gonna do it you're gonna do it do it do it you do it and put it in do it put it in it's different when you practice with him you probably were like la 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 yeah. and now you went to do it and you're like crap there's something you know again I don't use that cover button I just don't use that I press buy to do the shorts uh, urban here looks very interesting Urban may be a good watch for tonight. I mean, for tomorrow to train. The other one is HRB. We're going to get one of these people. I don't know which. One of them is going to work in our favor. Either HRB or Urban is going to gap down tonight, and we're going to get a good one tomorrow. And that's why I want you to make sure you know what you're doing here today so you can actually do something tomorrow and do it right. But you're going to get lucky here. This is going to work. But you don't have a stop in. Did you Skype him? Yeah, he said he would help me later. All right. Is everybody watching what? Tiva, if it hits again, you can do it. Stop 95. 69 by 95 is good. Here, you're going to get nuts. You're going to take another 100 shares when it really actually hits at 69. Oh, which one? Who's going on? Tiva, the oh. train you're in right now. You're in a train. Oh. <laughs> like Atlanta. And this time, wait till it hits. Here, it's going to hit. You're going to take another 100 shares. Can you do it? Here, right now. Sure. Yep, I just did. Okay, now you have 200 shares. And how much are you up? Uh, well, no, in this position, unrealized. Mm. Oh, okay. Now, you're going to go over here. You're going to type 200 in. And when I tell you to cover, you're going to cover. And then we'll figure out the stops when we're done. Okay. Watch the chart. Blow mm. it up. You can't mm. even see this. How do you know if you're up? What's your average cost of the position? You need to know... This looks good. Mm. When this starts to go, 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 you don't know what your cost is. Go over. What did you pay for it? Uh, um, Quickly. Your average price is here. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Go back and watch it. You're right at the price. So as it drops down it here, okay. you're at 70, so you're up, obviously. If it's under 70, watch, watch, watch. And then you have to minimize it, and then you'll cover when I tell you, and it looks good. Or you can watch the money today if you want. It's up to you. You should be watching it here. Here? This looks good, people. Excellent. Very good. And Eric took another 100 shares. He's sweating a bullet. <laughs> He's sweating a bullet. <laughs> All right, when it drops to the low... It's going to be 3264, so that's the number you want to watch. You want to watch the chart. 3264, 3264. You can even watch the level two. When it breaks through 3264, it's going to have a nice flush, and then you'll watch to be getting out at the next target, 3260, 3250. Okay. Okay? Cool. So you're watching the level two. Okay. You're watching it the chart. Hit, it just hit 3262. Very good. How much are you up? Here, this looks great. Here? $19. Huh? How much you up? $19. Amazing. That's terrific. Get out. Just get out. Because we're practicing today. And you're up. Cover. Are you out? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. All right. All right, Eric's out. Okay, if it breaks under 60, you can keep holding it, but this is the next target. Next target's 3250. And this really looks very good actually to go down here. Alright, let's just see if this could possibly do it today. See how easy it is to yeah. make money? But how, if that didn't work and you didn't have a stop in, yeah. you would have been in trouble. So you just have to learn how to put the stop in. Yeah, that's all. Okay, do you see I'll this call here? Cherry later. That's Who? Cherry. I don't know that person. 3230. <laughs> 32. She's very thirsty. Okay. Oh, Charity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She knows how to use TurboTech. I don't like Sherry. All right, who has questions here about anything today? Ask me now. I want to focus on the room here, answer some questions, and then we'll break for tomorrow. 
I called a nice trade in this today, and you know, DKS really did fall. You're welcome. But it just didn't have a right entry. If it had a better rating, I might have been more aggressive. Did anybody do it on your own? Did anyone do DKS on your own? Did anyone do a second trade in the Teva? Um, this looks really good. This could even go to $32 today. You're going to be in it for a while. And the P, what happened with that? This still looks lower, but like I told you, it's a snail. Cayman dude said no. Spy looks good. Q's look good. Yeah, DKS really fell. Four dollars? Is that right? Four Target's backing up. Oh my god. DKS fell. Yeah, four fifty. Is that right? Almost three dollars. There's no way I would have had you hold all that down in there. You would have got out the first drop, but it just it just didn't have a big enough rally. It didn't have a correct entry. I sometimes trade things that I absolutely love that rate well aggressively but there was no reason to play that this way here today with this but I, I knew it would work I said that in the room I said it could take half size I'm surprised nobody did it though oh Romy did DKS with puts actually this looks great to continue this is it here DKS continuation watch for um, tomorrow I mean this is looks broken here does anyone want to go over anything or have any questions? Let me know. So there is earnings out tonight that I like. Two things. I highly doubt they both gap up. One is going to go in our favor and should rate well. And that's when we're going to hammer it tomorrow. Until then, days like today, these two things rated 18 points and I call it a continuation watch. You play it easy. You play it light. You either do nothing and you do half size, you scalp it, and that's what everybody did. So everyone's up. If this had not worked and I'd called a stupid entry in it, you would have been down and then it would be very hard to come back on the day when you don't have any good picks. Good picks meaning a gap that rates 20 points or more. And there weren't any good longs this morning either. So we're going to go with the days where we have good stuff. But I did call very, very good entries here today and stuff that worked for quick trades. And, uh, you know, Target's even still down. But cost is really interesting because... I just have to look at this today. Sedona Trading, did Tiva made 160 bucks? Excellent. It looks lower. If you're still in it, $32 could go to today. This is working on its own without the market. Everyone's doing good. If you have questions, email me. If you want to put a tight stop in here, if you don't want it to back up at all, you could put a tight, tight stop at 32.70. But I think if you're in it, you're in it. You know, for the long haul here, keep the stop at thirty-two ninety-five. You could even give it more room over thirty-three if you want to be in it all day. Here, it's trying to break the low again. See, this is still going, but it was good I told you to get out because because you did two hundred shares and you're practicing. I got that Philip in me now. <laughs> what? That you want to make money? <laughs> Oh no, that's not good. Philip already signed out today. I'm not going to tell him that. I'm not going to tell him you got the Philip in you. That's dangerous. Go back to being yourself. <laughs> uh, all right, listen, everybody. Have a great day. And I will see you all tomorrow morning. And I think we'll get a good one tomorrow. So be here bright and early, ready to go. Okie you don't. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a good day. All right, first things first. You absolutely, 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 absolutely have to know how to put in a stop. Yeah. The reason is if the trade wouldn't work, it would go against you, mm -hmm. and you could lose an unlimited amount of money. Even with 100 shares, it could go against you, and you could lose, mm -hmm. you know, a couple hundred bucks. I don't want that to happen. Okay. So either we, we, you know, we have to go over it with him, but I don't really want to do another practice trade. But how much did you make today now? $23 or? $21.50. 21 that's great. You're up money. Your commissions are not going to be $21.50, so you will be positive today in your first day of trading. That's a great sign. Mm -hmm. okay. But you can't manage yourself fast enough because if something doesn't go in your favor, you will not be quick on the draw enough to cover it. I'm just okay. telling you. Today, they all went in your favor because I called good trades. Yeah. But if they wouldn't have gone right into your favor, you wouldn't have had time to get out by just covering. 
That's why the stop protects you. Even though it's you have to cancel it before you get out, the stop is there. If it doesn't work, okay. it will just hit you out. Okay. So let's try to call him now. 